blow the shofar. The trumpet, come on. You got a built-in one. It's called your esophagus. Come on. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Psalms 47 and 1. Where triumph comes from the word trumpet. And triumph means victory. Somebody shout Christmas as Thanksgiving continued. Yes. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. First yes. Corinthians 9 15. Paul said, I can't even find words to describe. He said, He's unspeakable. So in itself, praise and worship is a language. Come on, church. So he said, I'm going to praise him for Jesus, the unspeakable gift. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God Almighty. Thank you, sister, for that song, Silent Night. You know that song's almost. 196 years old. Yeah. Young priest in his 30s wrote it about five years before another man put music to it. The early 1800s. Amen. And uh, awesome song. Matter of fact, it's the first Christmas song ever actually sell more records than any other. Kind of like in Christmas, I call it Christ because if you leave the T or the cross silent, you just got Chris. Just look at your neighbor and say, it ain't about Chris Kringle, it's about Christ Jesus. You know, I saw a sign advertising the other day and it, uh, it actually said that. It, it, they called it money for Chris and they left the T out mass. That's about the same as putting an X in front of mass. Mass is abbreviated in the Catholic Church. Mass, it means celebration. We've just along the way took one of the S's off. It's meant Christ celebration, but now the T's gone. Come on, somebody. It's just Chris. And in saying that, we've become silent. Come on. In the wrong way. Come on. Hello? But you know that first night, and don't get me wrong, just don't, just don't take away from Silent Night because it's an anointed song. Uh, and Christmas music uh, is kind of like what Amazing Grace is just in Christian music to begin with. Amen? Amen. Praise God. It's like at the top. Amen. But you know when you look in Luke chapter 2, it was everything but silent. Praise God. Come on. Some modern churches could just sing Silent Morning. Silent Sunday. No way. Look at your neighbor and say, you better not sleep. You better wake up. Wake up! <laughs> sleep in heavenly peace. Kind of what do you say? Look at that now. Hallelujah. But in Luke chapter 2, amen, verses 14 and 15, the Bible, or verse, I believe it's 13, amen, it said, suddenly there was with the angel a heavenly host saying, praise God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace and goodwill toward me, verse 14. And you imagine a heavenly host, it didn't just say a couple of angels, it said with the angel, that was with Gabriel that had came to her, a heavenly host, that means thousands. Somebody shout, it couldn't be quiet. Look at your neighbor and say, I know you might be right, but don't get quiet. We've, we've had enough of quiet right in church. Come on, somebody. I mean, it was loud. It was bright, but it was loud. Hallelujah. Jesus had been born. The Savior had been born. Amen. And and and, and uh, shepherds, you know, they didn't get locked, John. Praise God. They, they couldn't keep quiet. They got loud. They went everywhere. Verse 16 and 17 of Luke 2. Telling everybody the things that been told them and what they'd seen. Amen. Amen. So as you sing in silent night this Christmas, don't become silent in the night. Come on, somebody. Yes. Share Jesus. Somebody say, share Jesus. share Jesus. Make sure you give Jesus to somebody. What a gift. Praise God. He was on a wrap 2,000 years ago. In a manger. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Nah, he was wrapped up there, but he was unwrapped at the cross. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Whosoever will, let them. Let them come. Let them receive. This is the gift of God, everlasting life. Praise God. Eternal life. Ephesians 6, verses 23 declares. Hallelujah.